But let me tell you about the core technology under the covers of Pow Wow. We start with your original applications. And these can be any kind of applications, whether they're web application, Windows applications, Java applications, it doesn't matter. What we do is we put a container around the user interface of the application. So what this means is we're taking the application and we're wrapping it in our technology. For example, on the web, our container is, includes a headless web browser. So we're running the full web application just like a user would, and then we're wrapping it in our container. And uh, accessing it via our APIs. And we have different containers for different types of technologies. So for example, we have a web container that's based on a headless web browser. We have a Windows container that's based on the Win32 APIs. And we have a Java container that's based on Java Swing. We also have a set of other containers for other technologies such as Lotus Notes and SAP GUI. Once we've wrapped these applications in a container, then we use our Smart Connect API to access them. And this is where we use our machine learning to recognize the components of the application, the states of the application, the screens, the controls, all the different UI elements. And we use the APIs to extract those. In the middle, we have our transport layer. And this is made up of two parts. The smart controller controls access to the application. So this does user management, it does authentication, it does push notification, it also maintains sessions so that users can move from device to device using smart roaming um, and still be connected into the same session. Above that is our smart proxy. The smart proxy is in charge of delivering data to the end user. And the smart proxy is designed to be distributed. So if you have a geographically distributed workforce, you can distribute smart proxies to the different locations so that users are always near the data that they're accessing. And the smart proxy handles routing, so it takes the user's request and, and moves them to the right container. It handles caching so that we don't have to re-request data from the original application where we don't need to. And it handles replication so that you can scale out multiple proxies and they'll always be up to date with the latest data. All of this is accessed from a native mobile application. Um, and we provide a wrapper for the native mobile application. And this can contain some of the uh, best in class technologies including AngularJS and Cordova. Uh, inside of that container. The container is also integrated with various MDM products. So we can out of the box integrate with technologies like Good or Zen Mobile to give you the features of the, of the native uh, platform. In addition, we're able to give you other native features that are provided by the device itself. Things like the GPS, the camera, um, native alerts, native encryption, as well as offline support. We deliver this all as a native IPA or APK file. Finally, in order to configure the environment, you use our Smart UX Studio. The Smart UX Studio is a WYSIWYG environment where you go in and build the application, and it provides a set of configurations that can be deployed to the clients and to the containers in order to control how the deconstruct and transform process is done. What that means is that these components can be delivered to the application when the application is run. You don't need to publish a new version of the application every time you want to make an update. And that really allows this fast iteration cycle that we allow for building these applications, collecting feedback, gathering analytics, and then pushing out updates to users without users having to download a new version of the app every time you want to make a change.